In the last few days under the banner of pardon is insult massive mobilizations have been happening in Peru thousands have been protesting the decision of the constitutional court to accept the pardon of former president Alberto Fujimori on March 19th people gathered at the Plaza San Martin in Lima and marched to the constitutional court to demand the revocation of pardon Fujimori who ruled between July 1990 to November 2000 has been serving a 25 year prison sentence since 2009 he has been convicted for crimes against humanity and corruption committed during his tenure on march 17 the constitutional court of peru reinstated the humanitarian pardon granted to him by former president pedro pablo kuczynski in december 2017 After three votes in favor and three against, the decision to release Fujimori was taken by the casting vote. Judge Augusto Ferrero, exercising his decision-making power as president of the Constitutional Court, voted twice to revoke Fujimori's imprisonment. Queremos que el pueblo sepa que esto no puede continuar. Debe haber cambios, porque en las instituciones del Estado están infiltrados mafias. que defienden intereses y sobre todo que defienden a delincuentes como Fujimori. Por eso esta marcha es el inicio de protesta de todo el país, de todo el pueblo contra estas medidas arbitrarias, indignantes y sobre todo delincuenciales. In 2017 when former president Kuczynski was facing an impeachment process in Congress, he signed and promulgated a supreme resolution granting humanitarian pardon to Fujimori on medical grounds. However, critics point out that it was a part of a deal with the former dictator's youngest son Kenji Fujimori, who was a legislator at that time. Kenji Fujimori had offered the support of the legislators of his sister Keiko Fujimori's far-right Popular Force Party during a no-confidence motion against Kuczynski. The pardon was annulled by the Supreme Court in October 2018. The court concluded that the procedure was irregular contrary to international standards peculiarly fast and the medical records supporting Fujimori's illness had inconsistencies. Fujimori's dictatorship in the 1990s was marked by grave human rights violations as well as corruption. These included the crimes of aggravated kidnapping, forced disappearances and murder of thousands of leftist guerrillas especially of the Shining Path. Forced sterilizations of thousands of indigenous men and women also happened during his rule. Alberto Fujimori's government deployed right-wing extremist death squads like Grupo Colina along with Peruvian security forces to eliminate left-wing insurgent groups, leading to large-scale human rights violations and casualties. In 2000 when the parliament geared up to impeach Fujimori over charges of corruption, he fled to Japan. He was arrested in Chile in 2005 during a private visit. and extradited to Peru in 2007. In 2009 he was found guilty as an indirect perpetrator of the Barrios Altos massacre in 1991 and the La Cantula massacre in 1992. The Peruvian courts found him guilty on various charges such as financing the human rights violations perpetrated by death squads in the two human rights violation cases and 10 corruption cases. Meanwhile, the constitutional court's ruling has been widely criticized nationally and abroad. President Pedro Castillo condemned the decision stating, "The institutional crisis to which I refer to in my message to Congress is reflected in the last decision of the constitutional court." Several members of the ruling left-wing Free Peru Party and its allies also rejected the verdict. The party announced that it would resort to international justice institutions such as the Inter-American Court of Human Rights. to protect Peruvians rights against the court's decision the inter-american commission on human rights also expressed grave concern over the constitutional court's decision the united nations human rights office on march 18th also expressed its disapproval of the ruling